Okay, we are going to do a sample packaging of a ship mod with uh, my legacy mod packager or uh, mod installer tool. Now, f in this situation, we're going to be using Sound Lizard Sona Battle Cruiser recently released um, at Legacy Files. I uh, just downloaded and extracted to its own folder. This is the files as they were in the zip file. So we'll open the legacy mod packager version 1005 automatically will open the settings. This gives you your basic instructions. Um, this is a ship mod so we're going to skip mission, we're going to skip objectives, and we're going to go straight to ship settings. Um, there's no data here so we got to browse to, in this case, um, this folder, which I've already installed the Sona Battle Cruiser ODFs into. It's going to go through, read all the ship ODFs, and find out what's viable, or find out what they are. Look up the basic information on them. Look up the uh, various races that are available. Now, Sound Lizard originally had this ship in um, miscellaneous for the new races mod. But because I put it into U2.0, it should be showing up right here under multi air arrays. So what we'll do, we basically just look for the ship. You can filter by uh, race or you can filter by era just to find your ship easier. And pick the ship, in this case would be that one. Hit check to list. See it shows up down here. So in a battle cruiser is the name it's going to display as. This is the ODF file. This is the default race. Um, in this case, um, I'm going to swap these. I forget what miscellaneous list it is. So th that's really all you got to do. This will be, if miscellaneous exists as a race in the installer, it will be the one that's selected. If that one doesn't exist, but the race called Malta Air exists, it will use that. Um, so, since we're only adding one ship, uh, we'll just hit the Save M Installer SH XML. SH stands for ship. Just hit that once, it should create the file. We're not doing any sound groups. We're not doing any customized sprites for this one. So, we're just going to go straight to packaging. Now, you see this is where I extracted the files to. So, that's browse to there. See files, samples, and a battle cruiser, and then this shows you all the files that are found in there: the M3D, the ODF, it, the various DDSs. And then you just scroll on down. You will see that we have only we have up to five XML setting files, which one, two, three, four, five. And just make sure you have the the right one, right ones listed. If you've made files in the past and you didn't delete them, you can delete them here. If you have previously packed a mission or something with the custom sprites or sound files, you can take them off. But in this case, we just have the new ship setting file. So we want to give our um, give our installer a name, and since this is what originally was, we'll just use that. Basically, once this once this is right, and this is right, <coughs> um, we'll just hit step one. <coughs> It'll go through the um, process. For a small mod like this, it's instantaneous. For larger mods, there'll be a window open up here um, saying it's compressed into files. Just hit OK. Once that is complete, then hit the Step 2 button. It'll go through and make the compression. Say it's completed. Again, it'll take longer for a, a larger one. Then we just open the folder up. Er, yeah. And this is where we ran it from. Um, move this out here. And right here's our package. Double click on it. It'll open up because his README 
it'll find a top level readme like this and automatically display it. This is his exact readme as it originally was, so for it's highlighted as a link there. So this is what the end user will see when they go to install it. <coughs> they'll see the readme, they'll pick where they want to install it to. This is just a stock two point and stock legacy install for testing purposes. Say OK. That's the install it's going to put it into. It's got now reading the um, racism and stuff for this particular version of Legacy. And since it's stock Legacy, it's only the four stock races. <coughs> since miscellaneous didn't exist and multi error doesn't exist, it's just on Federation. So we can pick what race we want to put it in out of these four. If it was the new races mod, every new races mod, when would be listed there if it was UU 2.0, it would show the 10 UU 2.0 races. 1.0 and 1.5 would show the six races. Um, track battles, it would show anything that's listed there. And uh, anything for any of the other mods after math, TLG, uh, whatever. So I guess I'll just put this thing in Romulan for fun. Hit install. <coughs> installation complete. And close this. Close this. We'll go in. Launch legacy. And there she be. And it's that simple.